Today I would like to show you frame sting for steel structures and frame structures. Uh, I just moved the browser away and as you see frame sync has its own menu but uh, I have put the the most important functions you know on the toolbar so I can also remove it to make the video place uh, video space bigger okay so we start we have uh, profiles and uh, there are building profiles uh, rectangular types you know different types U profiles L profiles and steel profiles as well and you can also define your own profiles. Uh, we have uh, we have put you know as example uh, some you know Bosch and Etam profiles just to show you uh, how it works. Okay, and there are two ways of uh, building profiles. Uh, the easy way is you know just one point and direction. The other way will be. Uh, you have already 2D and 3D lines and you can use them as middle lines. I have a work plane here and it's a 2D geometry. I select a profile, rectangular profile and from data file I select. The data files are of course editable, you can change them. You know, there is a material section. Okay. Here we go, and I simply I can either select a one by one, or I can make just a, a make a multiple selection. I can select several, you know, two D three D lines together. I change the profile type, take a you know s something smaller, and here we can define uh, when I you know just the trimming faces. I select the lower and upper face as trimming faces. In this case, the profiles will be trimmed automatically. Now I select, make a multiple selection with the shift button. I select you know, several to the lines and on confirmation, frame sting will generate uh, profiles and automatically do the trimming. As you see, they are both trimmed on both faces. Okay, now I take a bigger profile and go back to on edges menu and select simply one, two, and three lines. Since the trimming faces are still valid, uh, the new ones are also automatically trimmed. To the to both planar faces. So I want to put them, put the new parts into assembly. All right. So I have my first sample. Okay. Then we continue. And here now I will show you how to add new profiles. Frame sting knows. Uh, positioning faces, so you only have to go uh, close to the one endpoint and select somewhere on the correct face, and the end position will automatically be snapped. Okay, somewhere close to the end, and I keep adding profiles. Okay. It not only calculates the position but also takes over the parameters. So if I would, uh, you know, click on a smaller profile, you know, he'll make the, the smaller profile as well. Here I want to show you how we can uh, position it, you know, exactly to the middle or to another profile. Just simply put the profile, you know, center to center. Okay. All right. And I can copy. In the tools tab, you will find many useful functions. Um, usually, they are also, you know, inside modeling, like aligning, uh, trimming, 
you know lifting faces splitting profiles or deleting them uh, but the good thing is that you don't have to leave the menu so you can stay so now I'm copying the profiles so without leaving the menu I can do uh, you know certain modeling functions inside okay here I copied all right now I keep I will keep um, you know making some modifications all right here I want to change the okay to the tools menu hide it for a while you know and I want to add in the middle another profile so I don't have to position to the middle I can simply go and first put it somewhere okay I want to get the parameters so I simply catch and pull it up to a point okay and then just when I'm finished I will go to the tools menu you know and make a shift center to center I take the center and along the profile I will find the center position Okay. We also have, uh, you know, some work plane and 2D construction line geometry commands inside, and this will help us uh, to do necessary uh, 2D lines without leaving the menu. So I'm just, you know, just designing here two point line. I will use this line for creating a new profile. I don't have to uh, take care of the uh, you know orientation at the moment. Just click the profile and later on very easily I can just shift it to the middle. Middle to middle. This one goes in that middle. Okay, and we can because I haven't given the uh, faces as trimming faces. Uh, the profile is not trimmed, but I can easily trim it. Using modeling trimming functions, which are also in the tools tab of the frame sync menu. Okay. Okay, for the other side, just use the mirror command. Okay, mirror the other side. All right, I copy this one, this one, and this one to this point. Okay, so I copied the new geometry as well. Okay, now I want to add uh, some more profiles and before I do that I want to add uh, two more lines just to give you an example how to use the you know functions which are built in I will just do some okay this is my parallel offset and in this uh, this time I will not do uh, the uh, you know line but I will just do a straight line and give it a tilt just to show you what is possible a normal uh, 2d line and then but now 
and then, then I straight one and go to the tools menu and set the tilting angle and select the correct face so say right for a five and this face to tilt to that direction okay and align this one here and this face as you see the uh, the new one is not really in the middle but it's not so important because we have very powerful functions just to shift something profiles middle to middle okay I say this one to that one to the middle and at the okay sorry just the zero you know and now if I say middle so be just middle to middle with one click it's very easy to uh, position profiles to each other center to center another profile so I used to I made a make a work plane and use it as so this is another way I can you know just normal concrete function find the middle way I'm doing it on, prop on purpose uh, to show you later on the trimming function where we can trim the middle okay make one line here another line and on both lines I will create two profiles they will be crossing each other okay make the trimming automatically to the end faces and change the trimming faces for the next line okay those two profiles are as you see crossing in the middle but I've done it on purpose to show you the trimming functions okay. alright so now uh, how we can we can correct this first I move them with our center to center command to the center of the profile okay right now we can go to the trimming middle select the boundary and select the profile to be see with one selection so I want to show you some more trimming and I know that I have to change the topology of the corners I change the okay how they are connected to each other let's do it here as well okay so that was all uh, thank you for listening I hope you liked it thank you